roll. Oh, got the knuckleball, spun in. Rice trying to go below the screen. Larry, hesitation, explodes by him and gets to the rim. This was the kind of start, Kevin, that Darren DeVries, the head coach for Drake, was worried about. No question. He said, we have to get off to a good start, take the crowd out of this game. Ten on the shot clock. Here's the reigning Valley player of the year, Tucker DeVries, a little out of control. Fall away doesn't go. Brody gets the rebound. And he is going to be called for the travel. As Avila and Swope were defending him inside. On well, the game in Des Moines, Brody had great success attacking Avia early in that game. He went out with 14 minutes with two fouls. Can they do that again? Avila again for three. Off the heel this time. Tipped out to Overton. DeVries went down. He's still at the other end of the court, hobbled. Ooh, that's not a good sign. Oh, there he comes into the picture right now. Not putting a lot of weight on that right side yet. He may have stepped on somebody's ankle. Overton. He's fouled. And right. now Tucker DeVries is going to make his way to the Drake bench. And I'm sure his dad is very concerned. This is what happened. Yeah, no contact with anyone else. This came down awkwardly. They took him back to the locker room. Drake gets on the board with Kevin Overton at the line, the terrific freshman, averaging 12 points per game. But Darren DeVries, the sixth year head coach for Drake, knows that his son is such a critical part of not just the offense, but the defense. One of the better and maybe more underrated defenders in this league. Yes, but that at the offensive end, he's become the facilitator with Roman Penn graduating and moving on. They put the ball in DeVries' hands. And they also down a man with Kobe Garland is out with a lower leg injury. Ryan Conwell draws the iron. And Garland's been out with a knee injury. This is his third straight game he is out. So out of that uh, nine-man rotation for Darren DeVries, they're minus two right now. Connor Enright from the corner misses badly. And it's been a slow start for Drake. As we approach the first media timeout, it's been all Indiana State. Yeah, this changes their matchups at the defensive end. Also, Swope goes right down Main Street. First two for Isaiah Swope. He averages 18. Third most in the Valley. And it's a 9-1 lead for the Sycamores. They're trying to take away Swope's three. You press up, and they clear out the side. He gets all the way to the rim because there's no help. It's going to stay on this end of the floor with 15 on the shot clock. But we're going to step aside. Media timeout here at the Holman Center as the Sycamores have an eight-point lead. Someone in this room stole my autographed basketball. Signed by the 1948 All-Star Team. So I've called in a specialist. There's Josh Schertz in his third year at Indiana State. He has really brought this program back. Right now, the favorite for Coach of the Year in the Missouri Valley. A tremendous job of taking this philosophy he brought from Lincoln Memorial and bringing it to the Valley. Tremendous success. One of the best offenses in the country. There's a right-hand hook by Brody over the top of Avila. And Darnell Brody coming off one of the best games of his career against Valpo the other day. 19 points and 18 rebounds. Most rebounds in a Valley game this season. He has got to be aggressive at the offensive end, especially without DeVries. Now Conwell kind of snakes his way inside in the South Florida transfer. Has his first two. And who drops the dime? Robbie Avila. He's such a good passer. Unbelievable. He, I mean, the skill set. And the basketball IQ of Robbie Avila is unmatched in this league. Here's Kyron Gibson getting some playing time with Kobe Garland out of the lineup for Drake, but got him too deep underneath the hoop. Gibson, the reserve guard, transfer from UT Arlington. 
Hobby Luck already has a three here in the first half. Sets up Conwell for a triple. Yes! Conwell. We don't talk about him much. He has had some huge games. Drake's trying to go to the top of all the screens to take away the three ball from Conwell. Defender got hung up on that last basket. Brody faces up Avila and hits him. That is really a good sign for Drake. That is about the edge of Darnell Brody's range, but he needs to score and put pressure on number 21 on the goggles. Coming off his fourth double-double of the year. Here's Jason Kent now, the Bradley transfer. Gives it to Conwell, and then he dribbled it out of bounds. Good defense here by Overton on the baseline. Well, when he got to the rim, and now the Sycamores dribble handoff. Wright gets caught inside. Conwell buries a three. He's one of the pickups out of the transfer portal for Josh Schertz. And he really did a good job bringing in some new guys because they lost a lot from last year. Well, they lost, yeah, Cooper Nees, one of the best three-point shooters they've ever, ever had at this school. But what a seamless transition by Josh Schertz with Slope and Conwell. And Brody missed a close shot that time. Lead is nine for Indiana State. Yeah. For Beyonce McCauley, also newcomer of the year for the Sickles last year left. Avila hits another three. His second three of the half, and Drake needs a timeout. 12 point leftovers. That's a big one, people. Leads the country at three point shooting percentage at 41%. And one of the reasons why, Kevin, is their 6'10 center can do this. He's been compared to Nikolai Jokic, the Joker from the Nuggets. And you can ski, see the skill set, the pick and pop, the great passing, the ability to score inside. You can see he does it all. Points, rebounding, and also he's averaging about four assists per game. You got to go back to Cameron Crutway to find a center in the nation that's averaged over three assists. In the last 30 years, and we're looking at one right now in number 21. Nate Ferguson has checked into the game, number 24 in gray for Drake. Back up to Brody in the post. That jump shot goes down as Atten Wright gets hot, maybe, for Drake. They certainly could use Atten Wright, who averages 14 per game, to do so. And Tucker DeVries is back on the bench. He is going to check in the game. Got a little... Hopping his step as he walks up the scores table. They will need him for this comeback. He had 29 for the Bulldogs against the Sycamores three and a half weeks ago. Six triples in that game. He scored 12 points in a matter of three minutes. Overton has a poke from behind by Kent. Now stay on this end with 26 on the shot clock. So DeVries comes back in. This is a huge sigh of relief for that Drake bench. Well, let's keep an eye on him and see how well he moves. Drake down 10. Obviously a hole that they would rather not be in, but considering that the last several minutes DeVries has been out, it could be a lot worse. Wright steps in from the free throw line. Floater doesn't go. The speed. Look at Larry. Just attacks and nobody slows him down. Julian Larry has four. He is the key to this high-powered Sycamore offense. Is Julian Larry? Oh, that is badly for DeVries. Drake has not been sharp from the field to start. 30% so far, and a three for Larry. They're going below the screens on Larry, trying to take away his dribble penetration. But he shoots it 50% from three. Ryder's able to track down the long miss. Drake's just out of sorts right now, Clay. They're rushing shots. Inside of Ferguson, off balance off the side of the backboard, and Avila is able to clear it. Here comes Conwell in transition. Boy, the roof would have come off if he had hit that, Kevin. One of the things you have to do is slow down Indiana State. You have to score the basketball to be able to set your defense. Good backdoor cut. DeVries and Ferguson is fouled. And that 
that's going to be on Avila, his first. But what a start for the high octane Sycamores. The as speed they lead it. in the open court of Julian Larry, and then the three balls. The big lead for the trees. For part of this game with an ankle injury or a lower body injury of some kind. But now he's back. Well, both Dalton Connect and Tucker DeVries, you see him test an ankle. Preseason player, both of them on the Julius Irving small forward list, which has been narrowed to 10. You can see DeVries, player of the year last year, open to repeat this year. There hasn't been a repeat since Doug McDermott, 2012, on back to back Larry Bird players of the year. Indiana State shooting almost 70% to start this game. They've got a 15-point lead. Nate Ferguson's at the line for the Bulldogs. Not a great foul shooter at 57%. Ferguson is a rim runner, an offensive rebounder. They get nothing on that trip up the floor. They must change your coverage on Robbie Avila. He's knocked in back-to-back -back threes and has got an assist. And the has hit six of its last seven field goal shots. Avila spins toward the hoop, hands off for Kent. Five on the shot clock. Out for Larry, deep three. <laughs> Ten thirty-nine to go here in the first half. And Bledson will come in for Indiana State. Xavier Bledson, the veteran. He gives the Sycamores a different dimension at the offensive end at six foot five. He is their five man. He becomes the hub of the offense. Double on DeVries. Last touch by Enright. Indiana State's got it. Third turnover for Drake. Julian Larry, all defense team a year ago, gets in the pass lane, knocks that one off of Enright's hand. Julian Larry with a team high seven for Indiana State. Kent. He's got two more. Welcome to Terre Haute, Indiana, and a sellout crowd at the Holman Center. The best environment for Indiana State basketball since Larry Bird was here in 1979, and we've got a battle for first in the Missouri Valley between Drake in the gray uniforms and Indiana State in all black today. The Sycamores out to a great start, leading by 17. And off the miss, here comes Indiana State with Isaiah Swope launching up a big three. Doesn't get it to go. What a start for Indiana State, just punching Drake in the mouth in the first four minutes. He got to the rim early, and then Avila started knocking threes in. Tucker DeVries testing out that knee that he injured earlier. Deep three. First points for Tucker DeVries, who sat out the first four of five minutes in the first part of this game as Conwell comes in. He's got seven early for South Florida chance for, for the Sycamores. Conwell with a great shot fake, got the defender up in the air. He has the upper body strength. He can finish at the rim in traffic. Lob for Ferguson from DeVries, and he's fouled. So let's catch you up. Indiana State coming in, one of the hottest teams in the Valley. They've won six straight since a loss to Drake on January 10th. Tucker DeVries, seven minutes so far in this ballgame because he sat out several minutes after injuring a leg. And Indiana State, all five starters have already scored. Indiana State is attacked in transition. They've got the ball in the paint. Ten point points in the paint for the Bulldogs. And for the Sycamore, zero for the Bulldogs. Robbie Avila on the bench right now for Indiana State. 
He only played 24 minutes in the first matchup in Des Moines, Kevin, because he got into some early foul trouble. But he hit a couple of big threes in this game early. And Darrell Brody attacked him in that game at the Knapp Center. Got him and Blitzen in foul issues early. Sycamores couldn't recover, but this is a different story here. And DeVries, 29 in that game in Des Moines, went down early in this game with a knee injury, came back and hit that three. Conwell, great right hand to finish, and he's got nine. Ryan Conwell picked up in the transfer portal out of South Florida, Indianapolis native. Leading the charge for Indiana State so far today. They recruited Conwell out of high school. He's an Indy kid. Matthew Graves was telling me the assistant for the Sycamores. They got him on the bounce back in the transfer portal as he averaged about five a game at South Florida. He's tearing it up in the valley. And a foul on Larry. His first. There's Darnell Brody, strong off the window, got his own miss, keeps it alive. And they'll reset with DeVries. A high-low look they went, they try to get Brody isolated the block, that's what they used in Des Moines. Turning around, DeVries right in the face of Mason Miller, the Iowa City native, and he gets it to go. Still favoring the knee, Tucker DeVries, you see him run down court, but on the two threes he's hit, flawless. Win for Indiana State. They've got a two-game lead in the Valley as Bledson comes up empty. Clay, what Drake's trying to do is go to the top of the screens for Conwell with Swope's hit. And they're making a great read in doing basket cuts, trying to rub off the defender. Heavy double on DeVries. Overton for three. Yes, Kevin Overton. The outstanding freshman, his first field goal. He had 16 points against Indiana State last month, hit three of those in Des Moines. And now Larry driving, split the defense and scores. Man, he's so hard to stop when he gets downhill. Well, they're trying to go below the screen, and he's using it to his advantage. The burst of speed, the defender cannot get back in front of him. They're going to have to make a change on the way they're defending Julian Larry. It's another miss for DeVries. He's 2 of 5 from the field. That draws iron as Conwell just gets the one look for Indiana State. Six and a half to go. Good defense by Kent. And it's out of bounds, and Drake will have it. 6.32 to go here in the first half. Uh, Indiana State hoping to take a two-game lead after this is all said and done. Drake trying to get into a first-place tie with the Sycamores. Alongside Kevin Lehman, I'm Clay Matthick. Indiana State got out to a great start in this ballgame. Darren DeVries, the head coach for Drake, said that first four minutes was going to be critical. Well, Indiana State came out and punched them right in the mouth. They got right to the paint a number of times. They got 18 points to the paint so far in this game. And then Tucker DeVries goes down with a lower leg injury. They try to, they bounce back. You see Tucker go down there. He's come back and hit a three. But they've stretched the defense with... Avila from the perimeter, and they've gotten to the paint with their guards. Now it looks like a left ankle injury for Tucker DeVries, and he's still not moving very swiftly on it. But they've got him back, and that's huge. Five on the shot clock for Kevin Overton. He attacks the baseline, goes right to work on Larry, and scores. And that's a set play where they iso him, leave him naked on the right side. The left-hander dribbles to the baseline and scores it. Six foot six. Take the smaller guard right to the paint. He's got six points for Drake. Now Jason Kent misses up over the top of the backboard. Hey, don't forget, women's basketball, a triple header tomorrow here on ESPN2. Virginia Tech taking on number 24, North Carolina. Then number one, South Carolina, the only unbeaten team left in the country, hosting Ole Miss in the SEC, and will cap off the afternoon in the Pac-12. UCLA and number four, Stanford. Five forty to go in the half. Here's DeVries. Got the mismatch he wants. Against Swope. Fall away. 
No good. Now that's the matchup Drake wants. Right, but you can see doubles coming at DeVries when he puts the ball in the deck. Coming from behind. And now foul. Kent on an illegal screen. First on Jason Kent. 15 foul on Indiana State. Well, again, Drake is trying to defend Swope and Conwell by going over the top of all screens, trying to blow up the dribble handoffs. Drake's starting to heat up a little bit. They've hit five of their last seven shots. Connor Enright in deep. Gets it back out to Atten Wright. There's DeVries. Comes a double. He'll pass out of it with five on the shot clock. Overton got the three, and he is really starting to heat up. He's the guy that they're leaving. They're sinking in off of because they've got a double DeVries. Puts Indiana State in a scramble mold. Overton wide open. Larry attacks again. Backside rebound to Overton, and just like that, Drake has a chance. Well, when Tucker Two. DeVries went down, they were out of sorts. Now they've settled back in. Drake can get to within five with a three. Bingo! And DeVries nails it. And a 17-point deficit is now a five-point lead for Indiana State. DeVries over the ball screen. Defender gets hung up. At six foot seven, it's hard to recover. Stolen away. Here comes Overton. And he's going to be fouled hard by Conwell. And that might be just a frustration foul for Conwell as Drake has just taken over the momentum in this game. He swoped over the top of the screen. The big body, Darnell Brody. Traced the space. DeVries with the finish. So Overton's going to go to the foul line. And yeah, he's going to shoot two, an 80% free throw shooter. How good is this freshman, Ben? He's already got 10 points tonight. Knocked in two triples. Came out of Sunrise Christian Academy where he spent a year of prep school. Not your average freshman as he is now 20 years old. A mature freshman. Indiana State trying to stop a 9-0 run. As Indiana State has it scored in over three minutes. Conwell back for Avila. They need this one. They don't get it. And Overton will clear the rebound. We talk a lot about Drake's offense, but they are... The best team defensively in the Valley. Google percentage, none better. Brody. Boy, he's going to, they're going to call a foul on Indiana State. And Josh Schertz can't believe it. Boy, Drake has come roaring back. Now down just four. Well, Kansas with another win, uh, and you can see Kansas and Houston, too, the winningest program since 2019. Also on this list, Drake, and all of those wins coming since Darren DeVries got there. It took over six years ago. Has elevated this Drake program to new heights under Darren DeVries. Floater on the baseline doesn't go, as Conwell couldn't get it to fall. Drake was down 17, now trailed by four. Battle for first place here in the Missouri Valley. DeVries, tender ankle and all. So giving it a great effort, but comes up empty there. Here's Kent for three. Boy, Indiana State has really cooled off. They've stopped running their offense. They're trying to take shots in transition. Fans wanted to foul on Gibson. Threw a little shoulder. Now he throws it away. Avila running the floor. And that's going to count. And one. Body control, soft hands. The big five man leading the break. Watch this. Takes the contact. 
flips it in with his right hand, and now he's at the free throw line. Robbie Avila kind of took this conference by storm last year as a freshman. Now one of the best players overall in this league. I've got it on my most improved team. Easy decision. Nice and I, Indiana State. Back to a seven-point lead. And that's going to be a foul on Julian Larry. Just kind of leaning in. On to freeze. And as he was trying to get leverage. And Tucker will go to the foul line. Josh Schertz. Only chewing on Ed Crenshaw there. One on one opportunity here for Tucker DeVries. Schultz still working on Crenshaw. Two team fouls on the Bulldogs. Seven on the Sycamores. Ryan Conwell started out hot. He's got nine now on the back door, floats it up, that'll strong. Loose on the baseline. Here comes DeVries with Drake. At and right, all alone. Yes, hits the three. And now Josh Schertz wants a timeout. That's the first three for Wright. And now Drake is within two. Wright can ring him up in a hurry. DeVries just challenges Conwell at the rim. Brings it up floor. This is, we talked about, he's become a facilitator. Wright knows how to find the open spots. Another great addition to this Bulldog team. Atten Wright, who came out of Cal State U Northridge. Well, Josh Schertz was uh, channeling Ric Flair during the shoot-around today. He said, hey, to be the man, you got to beat the man. And Drake, of course, won the Missouri Valley Conference Tournament. Last year went to the NCAA Tournament. And he said, you know, we did a great job beating Bradley, who won the regular season last year here a week ago. Now we got to do it again. And they got out to a great start, but they've let down a little bit here in the last several minutes. It's been a huge week for them. The last week, as you mentioned, they got Bradley. Then they had to go to Belmont, did not play well in the first half, came back and won that game. And now another challenge for the Sycamores as Drake comes in. The only team that has given them a loss in Valley play, the Drake Bulldogs. Sycamore's trying to avenge that loss. Here's Darren DeVries, the two-time Valley Coach of the Year. Two NCAA tournaments in the last three years. Poked away, loose on the floor. Kent tied up. And the possession error is going to give it to Drake with a chance to take the lead with a minute 36 to go here in the half. Play. What a great recovery for Drake. Slow start. What Darren DeVries wanted to avoid. Tucker DeVries goes out. That lower leg injury. And they've come back and regathered themselves. And now a chance to tie or take the lead. He said there would be an adjustment. I mean, the speed of Indiana State is so good that you can't prepare for it in practice, really. And Josh Schurz says the physicality of Drake is something they had to adjust to. DeVries got the floater. And he's starting to loosen up on that ankle, it looks like. Yeah, he had Mason Miller on him, used the side screen, and got right to the Valley logo and used his height. A dozen now for DeVries. Swope on the baseline. Nice little reverse, and he flips it up over his head and scores. Finds ways to score, Swope does, whether it's the three ball, the step back, or turning the corner to the rim. There's the switch. They're trying to keep switching to get Miller on DeVries. DeVries basically running the point right now. Brody cuts in. And he is going to be called for the travel. Josh Schertz, up. <laughs> he's applauding that call to Kevin Driver, the travel call. Ah, 
Bobby with a good shot fake. Blue by Brody, and then Kent got the stick back and won. The master at work in the baseline for offensive rebounds. DeVries is going to step. He didn't even step over. He comes around the front of the rim. Jason Kent for that putback. I mean, there might be, not be a better player in the Missouri Valley right now on both ends of the floor than Jason Kent. He already has 10 rebounds. Well, we saw what he did against Bradley. 17 points, 16 rebounds in that game. And this is the free throw. He's got six points. Go along with those 10 boards. He's had a double-double in three straight games. So Drake down four, 20 seconds to go. Shot clock is off. The Breeze wanted the foul, didn't get it. DeVries attacks. Got it. And one. Tucker DeVries. Big player making a big play at the right time. Five seconds to go, and he'll go to the line. He got the ball back, and then the attack went between the defenders. The ability to score outside, inside, six foot seven. This is NBA offensive skill talent by Tucker DeVries. How about this? He's got 14 points. Make it 15. And he was out for at least three minutes in this first half with an injury. And he's going to take an early rest now as a sub for him. Kent's got it. He'll get it to Swope. He'll pull up. Jump shot, doesn't go, and at the horn, 37-36 the score. Indiana State led by 17 in the half, but they'll have a one-point lead over Tucker DeVries and Drake at the half. All right, now we're going to go to the halftime report. Kevin, Josh, and John. assistant went to customink.com to get new uniforms with all the locations. He found great products, uploaded new art, and had boxes sent to all the shops. Custom Ink makes it so easy. Get started today at customink.com. 37-36, Indiana State leading Drake as we get ready to start the second half here in the Missouri Valley Conference. Top two teams in this league. This game is close right now. It shouldn't be. There was a 17-point lead for the Sycamores at one point. They took advantage of Tucker DeVries being out temporarily with an injury, but Drake came right back. They got to a great start, Indiana State. And Darren DeVries told us it takes a while to adjust to the speed of the Sycamores. And then with Tucker going out, they were disjointed at the offensive end. Got themselves regathered. Got the ball in the hands of their star, Tucker DeVries. He had 29 in their first meeting. He's got 15 tonight after sitting out almost five minutes of the first half with that lower leg injury. Indiana State, 4 of 16 from 3, 25%. Hit a couple early, but then went into a big drought. And Indiana State, of course, leans on the three-point basket. Such a critical part of their offense. Well, they started off hot, as you said, that it went 0 for 8. But this is the team that's going to keep shooting them. That's part of their DNA. They go inside to Conwell to start. They've got the first possession of the second half. Swope misses, but there's Kent with another rebound. He had 10 of those in the first half. Well, that time he locked up his arm on DeVries and was able to corral that rebound. That right picks up the foul for Drake. Now they've changed their coverage on Julian Larry. Now they're trying to go over the top of the screens. To start that game, Clay, Julian Larry got to the rim because they're trying to go below screens. They couldn't get him stopped going downhill. Second foul on At Wright. And Swope tries the three, doesn't get it, tipped up, right will clear it. Drake with a chance to take the lead. And he'll go right to the rim and score. Atten Wright, he's got seven, and Drake is in front for the first time. Atten Wright, old school power guard. We see him in the valley for years. Six foot one can score with upper body strength. And now Larry trying to answer back on the other end, and he'll draw the contact. You have to get stopped in transition. The explosive step. 
able to hang and adjust in midair. At right, big time score for the Bulldogs. Transfer from Cal State Northridge, all Big West last year. That was the second foul, by the way, on Darnell Brody. So he and Wright both with two. DeVries will clear the rebound. Sycamore still missed firing from distance. They've had some good looks. Swope on that last possession and that time Conwell come up with some dry wells. Brody had it poked away by Larry. Now Swope has it stolen. And it goes right to Kent. And now a foul on the baseline, I believe. Nope, out of bounds. It's going to stay with Indiana State. Both these teams' defense, active hands, they get in the gaps on dribble penetration, try to knock it loose. Connor Enright guarding Swope. Extra pass to Avila, can't finish at the rim. But Brody's going to pick up his third foul. And now it's danger territory here for the big man. That's three fouls, Kevin, with 18 and a half to go in this one. No hesitation by Darren DeVries. Looks down the bench and calls upon Ferguson, his backup five man, to come in. Avila will hit the free throw. He's got another one coming. This is where it hurts him, Clay, because Arnell Brody can attack Avila at the other end of the floor and make Avila guard him. They got Avila in foul problems in Des Moines. Ferguson does not have the strength to do that. Avila misses the backhand. He's in double figures with 10 points, three rebounds. So Ferguson back out there for Drake. He had six rebounds against the Sycamores in their win in Des Moines. Boy, DeVries had it blocked by Conwell. That springs Larry. And he'll finish. What a turn of events. DeVries thought he had easy basket. It got swatted. Four-point swing. Matt Conwell's athletic. <laughs> And I asked Matthew Graves, the assistant at Indiana State, about his recruitment because Darren DeVries said, we looked at his numbers in South Florida. They weren't that great. Ferguson off balance. And he's going to find his way to the free throw line. Second on Isaiah Swope. Now it looked like DeVries has an easy one. Conwell comes out of the clouds and the best finisher in the Valley. Julian Larry takes it all the way down. Brian Conwell, he's built like a, a football player. 6'4", 200 pounds, just a sophomore. And Matthew Graves said, hey, we saw him in high school. We knew what he could do. We knew he could shoot threes. His numbers were not good at South Florida. But they actively got involved when he went in the transfer portal. What an addition to this Sycamore. He has been elite. 12th rebound for Kent. Indiana State by one. They've won six straight since that loss to Drake in Des Moines. And there's two more for Isaiah Swope. He hasn't hit a three yet in this one. Wait till he starts heating up from outside. Well, Enright's going to the top of the screen. Brilliant move that time by Swope to come over the screen. Kind of hesitate, see the defense is coming, and then explode to the rim. DeVries for three, and he got it right on the money. 18 here in the ballgame for Tucker DeVries. Larry slips. DeVries takes advantage. Avila hit two of those in the first half. All of his uh, early points were on threes. He's got his first basket of the second half. Probing, Overton rolls off the rim. Conwell in transition ahead to Larry. DeVries lets him go rather than challenge him at the rim. And now there's sellout crowd at the Holman Center. Back into it. Indiana State has hit four straight shots. 
Now Drake trying to answer. DeVries. Boy, that's a tough shot for the player of the year last year. Big time. Refused the screen, went baseline. Second defender came over. He started that one from his hip. High Archer. He has NBA offensive skills. And foul on Connor Enright. We were talking to Josh Schertz about Tucker DeVries, the head coach for Indiana State, certainly thinks that Tucker's got the skill. They haven't posted him today, but he can do that, and he understands mismatch, the high basketball IQ of both Tucker DeVries and Robbie Avila. Well, Drake's going to get it back down three when we come back to the Holman Center. We're retiring another legend here in Terrence. Back in 1986, had 26 points per game that year and over 2,300 points in his great college career. A lot of family in attendance for him today. And look at those numbers up there, Clay. Carl Nix, who played with Bird on that 79 national runner team along with Larry Bird, Newsom, and now Williams and Clue. 47-44, Indiana State with a three-point lead. Had a big lead in the first half. It evaporated. And at right, this is that shot for Drake. Here come the Sycamores. 13 rebounds now for Jason Kent, who continues to just clean up the glass for Indiana State. His improvement under Josh Schertz has been amazing. Backdoor cut. Henry, nice reverse. And the assist to Avila. That was a tough one for Larry to handle. Able to pick it up and finish. 32 points in the paint for Indiana State. Just eight for Drake in this one. Under 15 minutes to go. DeVries. Right, that might have been partially blocked. It's also forced. He had Larry right in his grill. Swope for three. Line drive, and he nailed it. And now Darren DeVries needs another timeout. That is the first three for Isaiah Swope. Speaking of Peyton, well, the final four advance to the Pro Bowl games. Tomorrow afternoon, starting at 3 Eastern, capped off by a 7-on-7 seven -seven flag football game. Peyton and Eli are coaching the AFC and the NFC team. So, do you think that's going to be fun? Oh, my God. I can see those two going out and playing as flag football <laughs> and being the quarterback for those two teams. They've done a great job here at the Holman Center, too. They've, uh, they've kind of beefed this place up. They've added some seats. Um, and... and just at the right time, too, because they need the extra seating. This this place is selling out now again. $50 million renovation and facelift. This is a terrific venue for basketball. Somewhere, Larry Bird is watching this and smiling at his sycamores. Brody over Avila. And Robbie Avila, pretty good defense there against the big man. As Brody had four points early in this ball game, and he's still sitting on four. He's back in with three fouls. Has to be careful. Avila is going right at him. He'll kick it out, and Swope will reset with 14 minutes to play. Isaiah Swope, and he's going to be fouled by Connor Enright, and Enright is nicked up. He got that one in the face. Inright has the challenge of going over the top of those screens. Swope had been turning the corner. Now he's kind of playing with Inright. That last three he got, he flattened it out. Now Inright's got to come out with a bloody nose. He's a tough kid now. Well, he's a Chicago oh. kid. They're all tough up there, right? He's a tough kid. <laughs> and, the, and he's got the mullet. He's like Samson with the mullet. I tell you, this has been a tough game, Kevin, for, for Drake physically. Just a physically frustrating game at times. Well, Josh Schertz said you have to adjust to the physicality of Drake. They have done that. And Darren DeVries said you have to adjust to the speed of Indiana State. And right. Look at Larry getting down on the floor. 
And if it's a possession arrow call, it's going to stay with Drake. And it will. When you look at this Indiana State team, Clay, you talk about Avila. You talk about Kent gets it from behind. But Julian Larry makes those plays that win championships for you. Missouri Valley Conference all-defensive team last year. This year, though, he's getting it done offensively. He's averaging in double figures for the first time in his career. He's so fast in transition, and they've got him guarding DeVries. Now that time he got a little too aggressive. Picked up another foul. That's his third. He tells Coach Schertz, I'm okay. Leave me in. Yeah, and, and Josh Schertz trusts him enough, Kev, that he can do that. Yeah, no question. It, that time went flying, DeVries. New shot clock for Drake. Good rebound by Kevin Overton. Brody tries to thread the needle for DeVries, and he's able to finish inside. That's where Darnell Brody has improved the most as a passer. Roman Penn is gone. They run a lot of offense through the high post through Brody. Pocket pass to DeVries. That was a small window to throw that through. Uh-oh. And we were just talking about Darnell. Yeah, that's number four on Darnell Brody, the 6'10 grad student out of Newark. That could be a turning point in this second half. Ferguson in, but Ferguson does not have the passing skills or the girth of Darnell Brody. Indiana State, best shooting team in the country. Their effective field goal percentage, 61%, and we haven't even seen them get hot yet. Bledson, out for Larry. Here's Bledson again for three. Draws the front iron. Brody goes out. Schertz takes Avila out to get him a rest. They get Ferguson loose. How about off the bench? Nate Ferguson coming in. That's his first field goal of the second half. Defender gambled for the steal. Never tried to go from back to front when the ball's in the air. Ferguson's able to score. Xavier Bledson, shot fake. Attacks, tried to hand off for Kent. That extra pass failed to click. And here comes Drake back the other way, down four. Too cute. Tried to get too cute. Overton. Is that the shot Drake wanted? He was hot in the first half, and he carried him when DeVries was out. But not at that point. You need to keep going inside. Bledson's going to keep hurling him up there, and that time he missed. Boy, Bledson was good in overtime against Bradley last week. Had five points in that overtime win. Here's Tuck DeVries. He'll find Overton. And again, he misses from three. I like that one better than the last one. Swope. One and done is Indiana State. Now, when DeVries is getting the scoring area, they're sending the double right away, getting the ball out of Tucker, DeVries' hand. And the Swope at 5'11". They like him on DeVries. Quickness can bother the length. That rolls off for Tucker DeVries. He wanted a foul, didn't get it. Bledson. In and out. Frantic pace in this one now as we approach the midway point of the second half. Fans want a foul on DeVries. And I'm going to get it. And it's going to belong to Indiana State when we come back. We're going to talk to the bracketologist, Joe Lenardi. This is a big one for these teams and a big one for the Valley. Indiana State by four over Drake. The Missouri Valley Conference has been a multi-bid league just once in the last seven years. Drake and Indiana State both look like NCAA tournament teams as we look at their resumes. Let's bring in Joe Lenardi, our bracketologist. Joe, what's it going to take for this to be a multi-bid league again? Let's start with Indiana State, guys, because they're the ones with the best chance 
for an at-large at this point. You see their net there in the 20s, very much in an acceptable range. So if you're a Valley fan or rooting for an at-large, to the extreme, you want the Sycamores to win every game by 20 or more until the very last one, you want them to lose in about four overtimes by a point to the next best team in the league, <laughs> arguably Drake. That would give them the best possible profile in front of the committee on Selection Sunday. I think they'd be hard to ignore at that point. Unfortunately, those extremes rarely happen. Well, Joe, since the Nets come in, the mid-majors have had a hard time getting multiple bids. Has the net, is it skewed against mid-major conferences? I don't think it's skewed against the non-power leagues. Uh, I think what it is, though, is a better measure of how a team is playing at any particular time. And unfortunately, what's really squeezed the so-called mid-majors is the expansion of the conference schedules in the power leagues and the fewer opportunities there are to get fair games, meaning neutral or home and homes against those schools. And that over time, plus the expansion now of those power conferences is gonna make it even more difficult going forward. Hey, Joe, I know it's going to be a crazy month here as we get down to March, and we appreciate your time. We we know you're one of the hardest-working men in show business, and we thank you for your uh, patience with us today. No problem. you got a good one and an important one tonight. 52-48, Indiana State with 10.07 left, and Ferguson going to the line for Drake. And Joe Lenardi back into his bunker, his bracket bunker. Ferguson misfires he struggles at the free throw line 57 percent foul shooter and got that one so he is four of eight at the line here tonight darnell brody with four fouls at what point does darren devries bring him back into this game well if it's you what do you do I'm within three. As long as I'm with five or under, I keep him on the base and bring it back at five minutes. Avila couldn't hit that shot in close. It's tipped out of bounds to Indiana State. Indiana State 9 and 0 oh at home. All three of their losses have been on the road at Alabama, at Michigan State, and at Drake, trying to avenge their only conference loss today. Avila over Ferguson, and he got it. So good at using his body to create space. And then the soft hands, the feathery touch over the rim and over Ferguson. 15 points for Robbie Avila. Enright got it. And one. Connor Enright bloodied nose earlier in this half, back in the ball game and playing hard. He helped swope the 12 points in that win in Des Moines, as you're going to see. The drive, the contact, Swope trying to take the charge, cannot get there in time. He's, he has held Swope in check of the defensive end play. Enright, Swope with nine points. Boy, and Kent just cleared his 17th rebound. Enright was uh, 0 for 6 in the last game against Valpo. Started 0 for 3 in this one, so he's got his first basket. Drake hanging around down 3. Under 9 minutes to go. Larry has it. Now Conwell is bumped by Kyron Gibson, his second foul. Remember this, no Kobe Garland yeah. on the bench. The injury for Drake. Enright's got to be an Ironman tonight on Swope. Here comes DeVries back in the game for the Bulldogs. And Darnell Brody, of course, sitting on the bench with those four personal fouls. Brian Conwell, nine points in the first half. Nothing here in the second half. He's got a one-on-one -on -one opportunity. Because Drake has been able to score at a higher rate since that slow start, and they will set their defense. It's made Indiana State play more against half-court sets. 
They excel in transition. You have to score points to beat Indiana State to set your defense. Your offense becomes a big part of your defense. I don't think they started the shot clock. So the leaders five for Indiana State. Indiana State a uh, little bit of a field goal drought, really, one of their last eight, but they got the lead on the scoreboard right now. Tucker DeVries has been brilliant, 22 points. Here's Enright. Takes it in deep, misses. Ferguson lost it out of bounds. Sycamores have it. Ferguson has hands on it, could not keep control of the basketball. He's really the most important man on the floor right now he in a lot of ways is. for Drake. And Drake likes to run their offense through the high post with Brody. They can't do it with him on the bench. Swope. No. That's been open for Swope because in right over the top of the screens, he's able to turn the corner, get the rim, but he's got to convert those for the Sycamores. Overton. Boy, well defended by Swope and Avila. And now Kent is going to be fouled from behind by Enright. Second foul on Connor Enright. Indiana State will be at the line when we come back. And we've got a great story about Mr. Clarence Walker of the Sycamores when we come back. When you have a history of the lead, they're in first place trying to add a game to their lead in the Missouri Valley Conference as we're past the halfway point in this Missouri Valley Conference regular season race. And Jason Kent's at the line. Big game for Josh Schertz and his team as they played Bradley twice. This will be the second time they played Drake. The heavy lifting has been done for the Sycamores if they can pull this one out. How about the game for Jason Kent? Six points, 17 rebounds. That's a career high. And missed them both. He was brilliant in the game we had a week ago. 17 points, 16 rebounds against Bradley. Gibson still in the game. The matchup with Swope on DeVries has worked for the Sycamores. Skip pass. Gibson thought about it in the corner. Now Enright drives. Overton with four to shoot. Throws up a prayer. Brody answers it on the backside and sticks it back. Well, the question we had, and you, you made a great off-air comment, Clay. This is when the game's going to be decided. So Darnell Brody had to come back in this game for the Drake Bulldogs, even though he's got four fouls. Robbie Avila, 15 points. Iso now, get to fifth. Inside, Kent, no. And Drake can tie it with a three. Each team with six three-point makes tonight. Gibson got it and won. And Gibson will go to the line with a chance at a three-point play. Gibson did not play much for him this year. But with the injury to Kobe Garland, Kyrie Gibson has gotten his opportunities and taken advantage the senior out of UT Arlington. And Darren DeVries said we needed some experience and older guy, and that's who they brought in, Kyron Gibson. Well, a week ago, he had two big threes late in that win over Northern Iowa. A chance with a three-point play here. Doesn't get it. So Indiana State holding on to the lead. Kent with another rebound. Larry attacks, and he's going to go to the line. Now, don't forget, coming up, 8.30 tonight over on ESPN, number 10, Kentucky, number 5, Tennessee at Rough Arena. Wildcats back home after a gritty road win at Arkansas. That's tonight in the SEC. If you haven't seen Dalton Connect play for the Tennessee Volunteers, you need to tune in for that one. So here's Larry to toe the line. Julian Larry, the junior out of Frisco, Texas. 
Yeah, free throws have not come easy for either team here tonight, Kevin. Well, these are two of the best free throw shooting teams in the Valley. Let's see, Indiana State number one in the league in free throw percentage. Indiana State four of nine. Drake nine of 17. Larry gets the back in. And the lead goes back to a deuce. 16 points for Julian Larry. Connor Enright lopes into the front court. He's got tissue in his left nostril. He had a bloody nose earlier in the half. Brody. Shot down by Robbie Avila. Great defense by Avila. Hands to the ceiling. Making Brody score over the top. Swope step back three. In and out. Enright has made life tough for Isaiah Swope. Gibson, bounce pass inside Brody. How about that hook shot from the big guy? And the catch on the pocket pass from Gibson. Brody playing fearless with the four personals. Boy, that hung up there a long time, and Enright will clear it for the Bulldogs. These are soft rims, Clay. I have shot around on these rims. They are forgiving. Oh, he got it. Count it. Connor Enright falling down to the floor. Gets the basket, and he'll head to the line. He does most of his work at the defensive end. I think he got punched again going to the basket. Did you see that? Right there. What a finish. <laughs> the mullet gives him superpowers. Is that what it is? He told me he might trim it up. I said, as long as you're winning, you can't touch the mullet. Well, we knew that this was going to be good. It didn't start out that way as Indiana State came out like they were ready to blow Drake out of the water here today. They built a 17-point lead in the first half, led 24-7 at one point, and then Drake came roaring back in the final eight minutes of the first half to make it a game. And it's been nip and tuck ever since. Well, this is a Drake team. NCAA tournament team last year. They finished second in the regular season. Won the Arch Madness, the puncher ticket, and took Miami, a Final Four team, right down to the wire. Their DNA is to win, and Josh Schertz said it in that team speech today. We have to match. This is the team that we have to become like. Yep. We have to be able to beat them. We did it to Bradley last week, regular season champs, and now we have to beat the team that represented the Valley in the NCAA tournament. Connor Enright to make it a three-point play and a three-point lead, and Drake's got that. With 5.35 to go. 60-57, to 57, Drake trying to move into a first-place tie with Indiana State in the Missouri Valley Conference. Conwell had his pocket pick momentarily. Now they're going to call a foul on Gibson. Third on Kyron Gibson. Actually, this could be the fourth on Gibson. So he and Brody both with four. On the flat screen, they want to force him to the left, which they do. Enright gets a piece of it. Gibson gets a piece of it. I'd say they're calling on Gibson. He kind of he got his arm underneath there, but there wasn't any advantage. Overton's going to come back on the floor. Gibson's going to sit down. Brody stays in the lineup right now for Drake. And as Conwell, that's another foul shot. One point lead for Drake. Conwell with 13. Now a zone. Here comes the Holman Center crowd. Little pocket pass for DeVries, left it short. Brody tried to rebound with one arm and couldn't corral it. They played the zone, one possession. DeVries got the look he wanted it right below the free throw line. Larry sought roll off. And that's going to be a foul on Kent. 
Kent trying to get his 20th rebound play. He's got 19. He went in there hard. Yeah, he came into the day the number two rebounder in the league behind Darnell Brody. And he has just been amazing. Just a magnet on the glass tonight. Tucker DeVries doesn't miss many. Almost an 80% foul shooter. But he won't get the bonus. Really short on that free throw. And it's going to be a foul on Enright now. That's his third. That is a set play that the Sycamores like to run to get Swope going downhill. It's just a two-man game on the left side in transition. Enright got bumped. Couldn't recover. So Swope will... To the free throw line. Has two foul shots. And he's got 10 points. This is a strange thing to say because he's going to try to put up 10th and 11th here, but Enright's done a great job on him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and he's just been notified. He's actually got four fouls. Enright's playing with four now as well. There was a little confusion before, but Drake's got three players playing with four for 440. And Indiana State's going to play zone. The length of Kent up top. He used this a lot in the second half at the Nap Center. Brody and Avila. Brody muscling his way in. Tipped out. Conwell tracks it down, and then he's fouled by Atten Wright. You're starting to feel it, Kevin, in this building now. This is a, about the point in the game last Saturday when Indiana State was in a brawl with Bradley where the crowd really helped the Sycamores get over the finish line in overtime. It was late in that second half and then in OT where the crowd really made a difference. Full house again today. Alumni day. Fourteen for Conwell. Twice now, Indiana State has used that zone. And the Bulldogs have not been able to convert against it. Big free throw makes for Ryan Conwell for the Sycamores, who lead the Valley in attempts and free throw percentage, starting to collect their points at the line now, leading by three. They'll stay in the zone again. Four minutes to go. DeVries needed to see that one go in, and it does. That was tough. It's in the left corner. He drove through the entire zone defense and got it to the rim. 24-4 DeVries. He leads everybody. That's five on Brody. I guess we didn't expect to see him pick up the foul that far away from the hoop, but he's gone. Sixty three sixty two Indiana State with three All right, guys. Thanks What an atmosphere here in Terre Haute and I said it earlier and I, I truly Believe this because I've heard it from so many fans Alumni the coaching staff and, and people around town I, They haven't felt this way about Sycamore basketball since Larry Bird was here in the late 70s Josh Schertz has brought his magic to Terre Haute and the Holman Center. Robbie Avila at the line. A chance to put the Sycamores back in front by three. And Josh Schultz. Josh Schultz was on his telephone. He keeps the voice message from Robbie Avila when he made the commitment to be a Sycamore. And this is why. Right for three. In and out. Indiana State really scrambled that zone active. Pushed each other off to the corner. It's been good to them. The only starter for Indiana State not in double figures is Jason Kent. 
but he's got 19 rebounds. And right, he's going to force the issue. Nice kick pass. Overton had a partially blocked. And now more of a measured pace here for Indiana State. Avila calling out the play was that high ball screen for the three. Oh, what a great pass. Kemp can't flush it. But Avila set him up beautifully. That's twice now. Kent has missed at the rim. Oh, right had a mid-range jumper. He's disappointed in himself that he didn't stick that one. Every possession so important right now. Swope, deep three. DeVries battled Kent and won that to get that loose rebound. Two minutes to go. And Drake wants a timeout. As Darren DeVries sees the clock go under two minutes. Down three. Well, don't forget our NBA Saturday primetime matchup on ABC has LeBron and the Lakers playing their fifth game of a six-game road trip at Madison Square Garden against the Knicks. Coverage begins with NBA Countdown at 8, 8 Eastern. He's Kevin Lehman. I'm Clay Matvick. Three-point game here in the Missouri Valley Conference. First place on the line. There you see the uh, situation. As Indiana State has a couple of timeouts left right now with just one. What's going to decide this one late, Kevin? Well, Drake had to make a decision to take that timeout now because they're struggling against the zone of Indiana State. Can they get the ball in the hands of Tucker DeVries so he can create or in scoring position? And if you're Josh Schertz, run your offense through the big man, Robbie Avila. Let him make plays. DeVries, a double-double, 24 points, 10 boards. Avila, 17 points, 10 rebounds. And here you see the standings. Indiana State with a win would take a huge two-game lead with eight regular season games to play. Drake with a win if they can come back. And down three, they would tie Indiana State at the 10-win mark. DeVries mugged going to the rack. And Tucker DeVries will shoot foul shots. Play, he lost the handle. He's able to pick it up, get control, and draw the contact. He lost it right there. He gets a piece of it. Avila gets a piece of DeVries. Remember, five minutes of the first half, Tucker DeVries was in the locker room getting his ankle addressed. He was fortunately able to come back in and ended up with 15 points at the half. Overton hit some big shots to keep him in it now. All right, they're going to play through 21 in the high post. And he's got it right now, Robbie Avila. Nice pass. Conwell finishes with the left hand. That is the best passing center in the nation, Robbie Avila. 17 for Ryan Conwell. Four assists for Avila. Big shot for Overton, and he hit it. And a foul on Julian Larry away from the ball. And Larry can't believe it, and that's going to be five on Larry. Watch underneath the basket now. Larry trying to block out. There's the shot. Larry shoves Ferguson into the cheerleaders. That is the first basket Overton has made here in the second half, and what a big one. And on top of that... Larry has just fouled out for Indiana State. And we talk about Larry now. He is the one who gets their offense in high gear. He also fouled out in that overtime against Bradley, and the Sycamores were able to recover without him. And you remember the man that's coming in for him 
Jabo, they call him. Bledson hit that huge three against Bradley to give them separation. There's Bledson who just checked in. Oh, big miss. Ferguson's got another one coming. Here's another look at that foul that put Larry out of the game. That's Larry right there. He's going to root him right in his arm around and throw him right into the stanchion area. Ferguson's got to be able to convert on this. He doesn't. He misses both. And those could really come back to hurt Drake. A minute to go. Now, Bledson can shoot threes. Avila. Bingo. Twenty points for Avila. Indiana State calls a timeout, leading by three. It's a great play call. Drug the defender off. Ferguson hangs too long. Avila steps back and rattles that home. He's knocking in threes. That is the fourth triple for Robbie Avila. Well, don't forget the final four events of the Pro Bowl games are tomorrow afternoon starting at 3 Eastern, 7-on-7 seven seven flag football. Peyton and Eli back to coach the AFC and the NFC. It's going to be a lot of fun. Hope you can join us Sunday, 3 o'clock Eastern time on ESPN. Play Matt for Kevin Lehman here at the Holman Center in Terre Haute, Indiana, where they've got sycamore fever again. It's been a long time. Kevin, since we've heard this building be like this, not just in one game, but a couple of games, last weekend it was the same thing in the Bradley contest. And now here with Drake in a heavyweight fight in the Missouri Valley, it's going down to the wire, and the crowd is in it. We had the goggles last week. Now we've got the terrible towels out for the Sycamores. They are hungry. They have not been to the NCAA tournament since 2011 when Jake Odom led them. 50 seconds to go. Tucker DeVries is going to trigger the inbound for the Bulldogs. Drake is 7 of 20 from 3. Hit on DeVries. Blocked by Kent. Loose ball. Who's got it? Foul called. And that's going to be on Tucker DeVries. And Indiana State is going to go to the foul line. They put Kent on him with the great length. He gets the block. And then there's a scramble for the loose ball. DeVries is trying to get it back. Fouls Conwell. Conwell, a perfect six for six at the line today. And an 83% foul shooter on the year. Kevin, you mentioned it earlier. A win puts Indiana State up by two in the league with eight to play. And they will be done with Drake. They will be done with Bradley. They will be done with the Belmont Bruins and Northern Iowa. Heavy lifting is finished. And they have no bad losses, as Joe Lenardi told us. There are three losses to Alabama, Michigan State, and a loss at Drake. Got to score quick. Doesn't go for right. Kent is 20th rebound. Bledson goes to the foul line. There is Josh Schertz. He is the toast of Terre Haute, Indiana, and points beyond. It's been a long time since uh, Indiana State basketball has been on everybody's lips in these parts. Yeah. 
You call him the mad scientist. I do. <laughs> he has brought a new flavor to the Valley. He spent all those years at Lincoln Memorial. He said, I had opportunities to go other places, Division I. This was the good fit for me. He loves the Terre Haute and the culture he's built with this team. Drake down six. Conwell got it. And he'll go back to the line. And now the fans are starting to relish this one. Indiana State, the favorite to be an at-large out of the Missouri Valley if they do not win the tournament. And this will be a big feather in their cap. Evening up the season series with Drake. They lost in Des Moines, but they're about ready to put this one away here today in Terre Haute. And go to 11-1 and one in the Valley. They survived the trap game at Belmont at midweek. It was sandwiched between a huge win over Bradley and this game against Drake. That's going to do it. 75-67.